Hello and welcome back to this series we've been on. We've done, um, we've been able to do a network, prepare the network data set that we need for this analysis. We've also built the network data set. We've also do, done, uh, we've done, uh, we've done quite a number of analysis done new rules we've done a service area and then we're currently on the closest facilities so this closed facility required two things the stops and then the residential so we've on one of the stops we want to use which are um let me see which in this hotel So this hotel have only one, so we can obviously use it. So let's remove it. So we're either going to be using the hospital or okay, let's use the supermarket. All right, so these are the two data required for this analysis, the road, the residential data, and then the stops now, which is the supermarket we're going to be using. So to get started, you click on the network analyst tool then you go down to closest new closest facility and then you go to the network analyst window then you click to bring out this so your facilities now will be load up the you load up the residential sorry the supermarket uh oh it's not this so this is the supermarket with one incident, sorry, one facility. Let's load up the second supermarket. Second supermarket. Okay, so now we have a total of nine facilities. Okay, so the next is to load up our location. Which, sorry, your, our incidents, which is the residential. And then we OK. So it's going to take some more time to wire it up and then let's give it some time and look at how it goes the process, the progress. Ninety seven, ninety nine hundred. Okay, so um let's quickly remove the down one. We have six thousand four hundred and 43 uh, incidents so now we we'll go to the property window of the incident of the closest facility we we'll turn this to length and we say we're doing this at 3000 that's it and then we we'll move from facility to incident you can move between facility to incident and incident to facility but then let's try this one first and then we'll run the second one using the other one. Okay, so uh, so I think we have nine facilities. Let me, I don't know, but then let's try this and see. Okay, so and then we give it a solve. So let's look at what has been solved and let's look at if there is any thing at all. Is any thing at all? I think there's absolutely nothing. We did not find any route. Okay, let's make some change to the settings. Let's return this to one. And then travel from incidents to facility. And then give it a solve again and see.
So it generated over that three thousand or three thousand three hundred and sixty-five roots within all of them. So you can look at you see that are closest to this facility. So you can see that this residents also take part, they follow this route to take part in this in the whole of this region. So if you look at it, all of them, you can see these are all the route taking part in this. Uh, these people are uh, being able to access all of these facilities within. And then come to here is the same thing. So within three meter, that 3000 meter radius, you can see the whole thing generate for all of them. So basically, this is how to find the closest facilities. Okay, so basically, I think we've come to an end for the but then let's change the route and so that we can look at it very well because it was closest to the sorry, it was having the same color with the um, with the residential. So I think you could see it very well now. Okay, so um, let me give it a color like that, it's more faded, so that we could have a better look at what we've done so far. So now what is left is that you right click on the root and then we export this root as normal future class. So here we call it what? We call it closest. underscore facility All right so closes facility and then we save it and okay so it's exporting the 3365 that has been created as the closest to the nine um incidents which were our which were our which were our supermarket. Okay, so um, if you've come this far, just know that we appreciate your effort looking up and watching, subscribing, viewing, anything you're doing just to make sure this YouTube channel will make progress. We appreciate it and then um, you could join our membership and then you could support us through our Patreon page, you can support us by joining and then dropping some sequins. All right, so we appreciate it to enable us to keep doing the content we are doing, enable us with energy to eat and come back to give you more content. So I love you so much, and then we'll see you in the next video where we explore more options on this network analysis. Thank you.